Okay, so in this problem it says, for the following problem, collect like terms and write the answer in descending order. So what we want to do here is, in part A, these are two separate problems, so in A, we just want to take a look, and we can only combine things if they have the same variables, and the variables have the same exponents. So I take a look at this first one, and I have 3x squared and an 11x squared. So 3x squared plus 11x squared, those are going to come together, and three plus, a positive 3 plus 11 would give us a 14x squared. And now I'm going to do this with my second term. So negative 4xy plus 5xy. Negative 4xy plus 5xy is going to be a positive 1xy. And now it says to write these in um, descending order. And what that means is we want the degrees to go down. But take a look at this. What is the degree of this first term? It's, since it's x squared, the degree of this term is 2. And xy, remember the degree of that one, is also 2. So the degree, it, it doesn't really matter which one comes first because they're both degree 2, but traditionally we write their squared term first. So that's the first one. Now let's take a look at this second one. Okay, I've got a 7x squared, y squared. We know the degree of that one's 4. Uh, so we know the degree of this one is 4. The degree of this one is 3. What's the degree of this one? This one also is 4. The degree of this one is 3. And the degree of this one is going to be 0. So those are our degrees right there. Um, as far as combining like terms now, I'm going to go ahead and erase these degrees real quick. So we're going to put our fourth degree stuff first. So that's what we're going to write first. So 7x squared y squared minus 8x squared y squared. 7x, 7 minus 8 is going to be a negative 1x squared y squared. All right, now let's move on to our second terms to combine. We got a 4x cubed and a 22x cubed. 4x cubed plus 22x cubed. 4 plus 22 is 26x cubed. And then finally, um, we're going to bring this 11 along for the ride. So finally, that is going to be a, we are going to have a minus 11 here at the end. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I really don't want to write the negative 1 in front of the x x squared, y squared, so we would write this as negative x squared, y squared, plus 26 x cubed minus 11, and then that would be our final answer here.